Hi everyone, welcome to our class one of OneNote class notebook. Pam and I decided we were going to do the classes pre-recording. That way people can watch them on their own time. So each week we'll have a series of videos that you have to watch and we'll embed them in a Nearpod. So this is just the agenda for the class. So we're gonna go through what we're gonna learn this first week. This first week is just an introduction to OneNote class notebook. Pretty basic and it should be very easy. So this week, the first thing you're going to do in the Nearpod is you're going to determine what blob most represents you at the start of this OneNote Class Notebook class and why. So for me, I've been doing OneNote Class Notebook for a while, but I'm out of the classroom. So I still sort of feel like this guy, maybe, number 13. I'm getting it, but I'm still confused, and that confusion makes me a little sad sometimes. Or maybe I could be this guy over here with me and Pam. Um, if you have never done OneNote class notebook before, maybe you're on the bottom, maybe you feel nervous about it, maybe you feel like this guy, just indicate in the chat in the Nearpod how you feel about OneNote class notebook. I'm sure we're going to get a variety of responses. So in this first week, we're going to be able to open the OneNote class notebook in our Schoology course for this class. So you're going to be able to see what the class notebook looks like from a student perspective, because in this class you will be a student. So when you open up your OneNote class notebook for this class, you will see what it looks like from a student perspective. We're going to be able to pin the app, and then we're going to be able to work on a distributed page. So those are our goals for this week. Now your homework for this week, you can see in Schoology that you are going to do the Microsoft EDU class, like introduction to OneNote. So you're gonna get a ton of information in that class too, and then you'll earn your badge. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to go to Schoology and you're gonna open the notebook. You see it on the side. It's on the left-hand side at the bottom. It says OneNote class notebook. You're going to go in there and you're going to open your OneNote notebook. And then when you open it, you'll be able to see what it looks like for students. So this is for our class, you can see from May and June. And a few people are in here. As soon as you enter this and you open the OneNote class notebook from your Schoology account, we'll see your name here. We set it up a little bit different this time so you don't have to really pay attention to this picture. But as soon as you go into Schoology and you open that OneNote class notebook, you'll see the student view. Uh, we're also going to have a little video on here about pinning the app. Pretty easy. It just makes it easy for you to locate your OneNote class notebook at any time. And we're going to work on a distributed page. So throughout the class, you'll learn the difference between copying from the content library and distributing pages. And in the Microsoft EDU course you're going to take, you'll learn all the different components of the OneNote class notebook. But for this class, what we did is we created a little assignment and we distributed it. And since we distributed it, we can see what you guys are working on. So this is our distributed page. You can open up, once you open up your OneNote class notebook, this is in week one. And we just want you to fill this in. So you could put pictures, tell information about yourself. So just in all these white spaces, you're gonna fill it in with information about yourself so that we can meet our class. This is only gonna be visible to Pam and I unless we share it with the rest of the class. And here's an example. So this is how I filled mine in. I put a picture here of me and my dog. Um, I made this because over the summer I was teaching kindergarten, so it's pretty simplistic. Um, but I just wrote a little bit about me. My name is Mrs. Elder Dermali. Um, I wrote that I grew up in Buffalo. I talked a little bit about having a husband and two daughters named Nellie and Clara. I talked about your, my hobbies and my dog. Now, I did this for little kids, so if you want to put in here instead uh, what classes you teach, um, what you would like to learn about OneNote Class Notebook, 
whatever you want to put in here. It's really just um, to practice using OneNote Class Notebook, the student view. So you'll see what your students see when you give them a distributed page. Okay, here's a few tips. Only go through Schoology to get to the class notebook the first time. After that, use the desktop app. The desktop app has a lot more functionality than the web version. So make sure you watch the video about pinning the app so you can get to it quickly. Uh, when you're prompted, pick open in OneNote online initially. You just open it in the online just the first time. So it's initially you open it in online and then you go to the app. Take some time this week and go through the online version and the app version just to see the differences. Uh, final, to be able to review a student work, they have to copy an entire section, or the teacher has to distribute the individual page to the student. So this is really important. I'm just going to like underline this part. The teacher has to distribute the individual page to the student. The only reason that I can see what you are working on in the Meet the Class page is because I distributed it to the individual students. So week one, you're gonna complete the getting started with OneNote beginner course in the Microsoft EDU. There's a link in Schoology. Then you're gonna upload your badge. You're gonna participate in the weekly discussion post. And then, I don't know why this didn't copy, but I'm gonna do it right now. Complete Nearpods. There's gonna be a few Nearpods rather than having the live class. And at the end, we might do a little poll. Let us know, would you rather have a live class or would you rather do the Nearpods? Um, in classes previously, most people said they would rather do pre-recorded sessions because I know how busy everyone's schedule is. Uh, these are some resources. These are all going to be available in week one of Schoology um, because it is a little different if you're working on an iPad. Uh, if your students have iPads, it's a little bit different. We will be working on that for sure throughout this class, giving you videos and letting you know more about the iPads. Pam and I also are available for office hours. So if you have any questions, you could always come to office hours or Pam and I both work the help desk. So you could also come into the support desk and ask any questions about uh, OneNote, class notebook. So here's some information about adding, creating OneNote, class notebook to your courses, copying resources, and then information about the iPads. So at the end of this Nearpod, I'm just going to ask these two open-ended questions. What is one thing you found helpful from this class? And what is one question you have after this class? And Pam and I will definitely try to get to all the questions you have about this class next time. So like I said, there's a series of videos. This one's just the agenda. Then we're gonna have one about pinning the app. I'll have a little video that goes through what it looks like when you open OneNote Class Notebook in your Schoology course. And then you're going to do the Microsoft EDU week one on earn your badge. And then you're going to do the distributed page, meet the class. Try to make it fun. See adding pictures and text, whatever you wanna to do to that page.